Dear friends, good night everyone. Welcome back once again to Saravera. It will be true on the Friday of the Spirit. Today is Friday and once again we are in your company as well as you are in our company. So if the hostesses do on the airplanes, as if we were actually air hostesses, we remind you how to get in contact with us. There is the live on Facebook and I'm just seeing that you are already following us Wow, so many. We'll greet you later when you will start writing. Also, do not forget the live on YouTube and the WhatsApp number 0093346107759. And there is also the phone call from home, which often happens, as I used to say, and it's always very nice. Tonight, dear friends, we have a most welcome comeback. A character who has become famous thanks to what has already become his mission. The first time we had him as a guest here in Saravero, he told us about his very tough juvenile odyssey, which ultimately led him to be what he is now. So he took a specific direction in front of a crossroads he stumbled upon. It's a huge pleasure for us to have him back and I feel extremely honored to introduce him to you once again, also because he has become a friend, our dearest Alberto Caccialanza. Hi, Alberto. Hi, thank you very much, dear friend. It's a pleasure to be here and we are always locked and loaded. Well, allow me for a second to say again, what was your second odyssey? Not the previous one. So, who is Alberto Caccialanza? This regular kid who, after a few sublime experiences, that he lived on his own skin has become a very famous popularizer of Marian messages both nationally and internationally. Why? Because all over the world, in lots of places in the world, there are some visionaries who receive the messages of the Heavenly Mother and guess what? They predict what is going to happen way earlier and all of this always happens on time. So, that has become your mission, is that right, dear Alberto? Yes, of course. Actually, in the past, I have spread some messages and prophecies which were fulfilled kind of in the general indifference. And I have brought you here a few messages which explain what's going on. First of all, people are focused on this pandemic on this future made of restrictions with these liquids, with these impositions, and that's all they can see. In most cases, whenever I have time, I follow a WhatsApp group chat and I see that they are talking about this topic. It's all right and understandable. However, there is much more to know and we must be prepared. Therefore, I'm going to read you a few messages right away. Go, go, tell us right away what's cooking in this big pot, which is planet Earth. Of course, of course, Carbonia, Operation Sardinia, a message of 2017. America will taste the pain of its sin. It will find itself naked in front of me. It doesn't stand a chance and will perish in its own pride. Russia is about to lay down its law of war. China will be the destroyer with all of its bacteriological weapons, which will kill a third of the population. Italy will cry for not having bowed down to me. First of all, a third of the population reminds us of the Revelation passage 9, where he specifically talks about this last great war. So this message is actually reminding the sacred texts the war in the sacred texts. Now, the message from 2014. China is in turmoil. The United States of America is on alert. Russia will dictate its candidacy as world prime minister and China will join Russia. So there will be a union between Russia and China. And the USA will heavily suffer, as I just read in this message. Also, because of its sins. Starting from the period right after World War II onwards, USA has been the worst warmonger. 
for example, the war in Korea in the 50s, the one in Vietnam in the 60s, and so on. It's already a spine-chilling scene. However, we have also plenty of evidence that these wars have been organized, so this scene is far heavier. For example, they made up a lie Iraq possessed chemical weapons and long-range missiles, which were able to travel long distances, therefore above the permissible limit. So they went to war with Iraq. Or they made up a lie Syria dropped chlorine gas on civilians in 2012. Then they had the excuse to enter war. For example, they made up the attack in New York against the Twin Towers in 2001. It's crystal clear everyone knows it's been organized, not only that minority of humanity which has awakened, but also many more people. Many more people got it. Moreover, it's not just about the wars. For example, in USA there are clinics which pay women $550 for an abortion when they are three months pregnant. Then they dissect this aborted fetus, this live fetus, and they export its organs, such as lungs, liver, and then out of these organs, of these tissues, they produce the famous liquids which we know, you know very well. Now let's pick up the gospel and open it to read what's written in there. For example, but whoever shall offend one of these little ones, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Or it is written, he who lives by the sword will perish by the sword. So now let's try and imagine what will happen to the USA. Not a nice future at all. Let's just say that it will take many millstones, dear Alberto, because not only in the USA, but also in China, a lot of societies will practice these atrocities for birth control. Absolutely. However, there is another aspect to consider. Who have always been the allies of USA, Europe? So what's written in the message I've read earlier, Italy will cry. In fact, Italy did her nice part. It has deposited a hundred nuclear warheads in its territory, in its military bases, such as Aviano. So we are accomplices of the American crimes. Moreover, by having deposited their weapons in our territory, we have just become a magnet for their enemies and we will be hit also because of this. Back to the messages. Luz de Maria, Apparitions, Argentina, 2020. Pray, my children, pray. Communism will advance, putting Rome in agony. 2015, pray for Rome, my children. Terrorism is lurking. It will, it will deal a fatal blow. Trevignano Romano, Apparitions, Rome, 2018. Pray for Rome. Terrorism will not be long in coming. Oliveto Citra, Apparitions, Salerno, 2004. Vatican is in danger. It will be destroyed very soon. Carbonia, 2017. Paris will be once again assaulted by enemies. Madrid will, all, will be also attacked by enemies. But now it's Rome's turn. The deadliest terrorist attacks which happened in Europe, starting from World War II onwards, took place in Bataclan in Paris with about 100 victims and in Madrid, Spain, 2004 with about 200 victims. Now it's time for Rome. However, it will not be just an attempt. The Russian and the Chinese army will join together with Islamic extremists and they will tear apart the Vatican. Let's get back to the Gospel. He who lives by the sword will perish by the sword. The Vatican has hidden a part of the third secret of Fatima. 
It has hidden a part of the secret of Lourdes. It has hidden a part of the secret of La Salette. The Vatican has laundered money for the Mafia and does not use, I mean, it, it does not practice works of charity in a way proportionate to what is stored in its bank. Or, just a little while ago, we have seen the Cardinal Pell, Vatican Finance Minister, being arrested because he abused dozens and dozens of children, and he himself confessed that, arrested. Moreover, the Vatican has covered up several cases of pedophilia all over the world, in several countries. Then, these priests were moved to other parishes, and then what's happened? They abused other children. These are extremely heavy swords accumulated by the Vatican, and it will be severely hit precisely because of it. This is what is meant to happen in a few years. However, now I will be practical. Why? The liquid. You know what I'm talking about. If you got the liquid, you can go to the shops, you can go left and right and to work. If you do not have the liquid, you cannot go left and right. So many people ask me, so what should we do now? We are in trouble. Well, let's keep following the law of Christ. If you have the liquid, you are an accomplice to Satan's plans. So you throw some swords and those swords are bound to come back. Therefore, you will be more prone to, more vulnerable to, be hit by future wars which will be coming. On the other hand, if you don't have the liquid, you are not an accomplice to the evil, you are not an accomplice to Satan's plan. You don't throw some swords which are bound to come back to you, of course, you will suffer, you will likely lose your job. However, we shouldn't always despise suffering, because suffering purifies us. It wipes away some dirt from our souls. We become light and light drives away the darkness. So we will also be less prone, less vulnerable to be hit by the future wars which are about to come. Yes, dear Alberto, let's say that very likely according to karma, which is something we often talk about here, well, from a karmic point of view, the fact of not having the liquid, as you call it, knowing where it comes from, will not bring effects to the cause to which we would give energy if we took the liquid. So it's a nice choice to make the famous crossroad, either with me or against me. Exactly, however, in these special times, the messages of our mother have spoken very clearly. The time of decisive choices has come. We must take sides, so I am always very stiff with these answers of mine when people ask me. We must choose Jesus.